Hello Red Brick Productions here with another LEGO video and today I have the flagship set of the wave, the LEGO Minecraft, the Ender Dragon, and the End Ship set. The set number is 21264. It has 657 pieces, two minifigures, three mobs including the Ender Dragon and the ship. So without further ado, I want to take a look at the Ender Dragon. So this is the Ender Dragon and this might be the best one we have today. I'll talk about that a little later with some comparisons, but I do wanna show you next to a minifigure. You can see this thing has some height to it. Now, granted, I have it posed on its hind legs, but that's besides the point. There's a lot of height. Now, there's a lot of really nice posability. Each thing is connected via joints, so the wings can flap up and down, which by the way, the wings are a huge upgrade. Look at that, Those the shaping of this is just great. I think they, even with the gaps there, I don't think they're too bad and there's not much they could do. So I think the wings are great and some of the best ones we've gotten. The mechanism for the shooting is awesome. Tell me where it is. You, you probably couldn't because it's so well integrated. I have to move the head out of the way, obviously, but it's just this middle one. You just press down and a little purple spring-loaded shooter shoots out from its chest. I mean, that is incredible. There is some incredible building techniques to get that to just look like that. Like you can barely even tell that there is a mechanism there. Awesome job on Lego's part, especially for trying to get it in some mobs so it's not huge. Like, you know, the gas has the giant stick out of the back. This is, this is great. The legs are, do have some articulation where it's ratcheted, you can splay them. There's even knees and ankle joints. So there's a lot of good posability there. The feet, I feel like are slightly too small i think it needs to be a four by two plate instead of a four by three um my camera focus the neck has some posability and of course we got to talk about the molded head now believe it or not this is two pieces where if we take off that that is cursed that is super cursed but it is a reuse of a print from the small 20 dollar ender dragon which again i'll show the comparison in a little bit but we also have arms which are on ball joints except for the hands like are unratcheted which you know they work and that's kind of how it was earlier and then of course we have the tail which are all connected via via joints but i think what i want to show is the, the all right so here i have the three ender dragons i'm gonna remove this small one for the most part because this one isn't really comparable uh i mean you can see the face print is reused again i think the only comparison that we can make is that obviously it's better because this one, while it did have good integration of the spring load bullet, you can see it sticks out a lot right there. So obviously Lego improved a lot, but granted this is a smaller scale. So again, it's hard to compare, but I do think Lego did a good job with this, with the built up wings, because in the old version, this is from 10 years ago, they had these pre-molded wings, which don't look very Lego-like. It doesn't look very dragon-like. And you know, I think it they were good for the time, However, nowadays, I feel like they could, uh, the brick built ones are so much better and just look way better from the back. Like just take a, like this is clearly more Ender Dragon than that. So I think Lego did a huge improvement on that. However, I think the biggest issue with this dragon is the face. It's way too small. It is so small. And I think, I mean, you can't really see, this face is so much better. In, in so many ways, I think the the studs being there, and this is apparent on the smaller one, but the the studs being on the nose really help with those two little nose things. And this is just too flat. So because the Ender Dragon has two nostrils, so those worked really well. And I think the face in proportion to the body is just too small on the new one. Honestly, it looks so much better if you remove this face and put it on there. Like this just gets a hundred times better. And even with like new pieces, I feel like Lego could have done a much better job with a new face print. Now I'm not saying we, they should have not made this dual molded head because you'll see why later I think they should have kept it. And I'll talk about this more in the final verdict. However, it's just that face is too small. And this one honestly looks so much better. And the thing is in terms of proportion, sure this Ender Dragon is bigger, but the body is roughly the same size as the other one. And the wings are roughly the same. The arms are pretty similar, actually. And even the legs. These legs do have four studs, so I think the, the, or the feet are a little bit better. And I also think that the tail on the new one could have been improved. You can see 
that they have this combination between gray and black, which doesn't work very well compared to the old one, which has black on black. So clearly Lego has the pieces to do black on black on black, but they just chose gray. And I think that might be partially due to um, trying to make it easy for the builder. I know Lego does a lot of work in trying to make an easy build experience. However, they did it in this one. So I don't know why they couldn't have done it in the new one. And I think it just would have made this look a lot cleaner instead of having these little gray bits here and there, which it just would have looked nicer. Anyway, I'll, I'll keep talking about the dragon later. I think my, while this is probably still the best dragon we've got because of these built wings, it's the right, like a good size, I think, it could have been a little bit better, which is why I'm harping on it so much because it's so, so close to being the perfect dragon. Like if if they changed the face and I think changing out those, this would have been the perfect dragon. And ah, that's why I'm like, so like, ah, it was just so close to being so good. And I think they just dropped the bomb a little bit with this molded head. But again, I'll show you what this does in a little bit, but let's take a look at the ship. So the ship is actually huge. I was not expecting it to be this big. And there's a lot of clever part usages, such as these little poles for end rides. Like that is a really clever build technique. And you also have a very nice overview of this ship. I love the amount of purple we get in this and the lavender color, like that is great. We have a shulker on the back, which is uh, the same shulker build we got in that end arena set. It's not connected in any way, it just kind of moves up and down. And you can, you know, place that wherever I put it on the back of the ship because I think it usually spawns back there as well as right here, but there's no studs there. Um, yeah, it, it's a very nice build. It's very brick based. Like you're really putting two by twos on and that's a lot of the Minecraft sets, but especially this one, this one had a lot of that. Uh, you get access to the interior via two ways. You can take off the roof right here, but once you take off the roof, you can also open up this, which provides a ton of space for you to get in there and play with all the details. We have a brewing stand, which looks really nice. I think this is, the design is slightly updated, but roughly the same. I think they just keep making it, trying to make it smaller and smaller. I, I think it looks pretty good right there, actually. I think they did a good job for, for what they can do with the size of the potions. Obviously, it's not perfectly to scale. We have a chest, which comes with a diamond, an emerald, and some gold. I feel like that's pretty good loot. I feel like end cities have a lot of that type of loot. Uh, and then of course, over here, there's one more feature where there's those two random studs. Now at first I was kind of confused on what these studs did, but they're in item frames. So you can put the wings or the elytra on there. And so it's supposed to act like the item frame for the wings to go on. And you know what? I, I think that works well for the space that they had and like how big the wings are and stuff. Obviously they can't make like a tiny little miniature, maybe they could, but like it wouldn't really do them good as that does. Like, I feel like that is much more practical for them. And yeah, I think it just works well. And this just shuts up like that. There's no stairs to get down. So that's a little frustrating, but that's okay. Um, and then on the front, we get another appearance of the dragon head, same exact mold, same piece and everything. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And of course we have the crow's nest up here. And yeah, overall, I think the ship itself looks good. Like it looks like the end ship. And I think Lego did a really good job capturing it. And for the scale of it, like I think this scales up pretty nicely with the figure. I mean, it's definitely a little smaller than the figures, but I do think it works well. You know, obviously they can't have the two layers, um, but I think this for what it is, like it, it's pretty decent. And you actually do have a lot under there to give it some height. And yeah, overall, I think the end ship is probably my favorite part of the set, actually. It really looks good. It plays well. I think there's a lot of nice detail on it. And yeah, really, really good job by LEGO. This is a really nice ship. And it's something that we've been waiting for for a long time, the end city and stuff. So just getting this is great to finally get something. Now, I'm still hoping we might get an end city at some point. But yeah, that's, that's it for the end ship. Really great overall. Probably the standout of this set we also get the portal build uh this is our second portal build that we've gotten i don't like it to be honest the other one was raised up a little bit but it had like blue uh i, I get what they're trying to do and obviously this is much better i think it would have been nice if this was raised up a little bit you know if these were each a block tall which would have been nice instead of this flat it just 
it feels very, very flat, very small too. Like there's not a lot surrounding it. Like I wish this was maybe a little built up. Uh, the egg is good. I think this is the exact same egg build as they had before. The torches and even like the coarse fruit is fine. Um, it just feels re really thrown in there. And obviously uh, Lego designers, they have their parts budget in the beginning and then they're for then they have to build up to that parts budget so it looks like they had a little extra so they included this and it works with the story obviously you beat the dragon you get the egg you find your elytra like it works with the story but it definitely feels less compared to the other builds in the set like it's not the best but that's okay now let's take a look at the figures so we have an ender knight here and this guy's awesome what look at that face that is so cool and the torso printing is great this is also the only character with an elytra it would have been nice if we got an elytra or elytra for the other figure uh the back torso printing i actually can't remember what it looks like i think it's just it looks at, oh it's actually way cooler than i thought it looks pretty good and yeah it's just it would have been nice to get an elytra for the other figure but i understand why it's only having one trust me when i've done some some end busking I, I've we've ended up only getting one pair at a time with me and my friends and so that can be the who gets what uh, you get a diamond sword and a firework ro rocket which are both the very appropriate accessories I don't think I said how cool they are these, these figures are both really cool we also get the ender explorer and this torso is also incredible I also like the leg uh, the leg coloring it matches with the arms back torso printing is also really cool Lego these are awesome figures and I'm really glad we got them. They're both exclusive and we get the face print, which looks nice. You get enchanted bow, enchanted helmet, and an eye of, or not an eye of ender. I think that's just an ender eye, you know, the teleporting one, obviously. And yeah, the, the bow, just both really great figures. Now, the only thing I didn't mention about the mini figures is this dragon head. Now this is straight off of the boat. You can place this on top of the mini figure. Dude, that is so cool. And I think the scale for the, it being on the minifigure works well. Oh, it's all falling apart. Uh, the scale on the minifigure head works well because the Ender Dragon head is huge on a mini, like or on a Minecraft character, like it's massive. I just don't think it worked well for the dragon. Do I think they should have kept this? Yes, because this is really cool and I like having the dragon head on the minifigure, but it would have been nice if we also got the molded head or, you know, a not a molded the brick built head for the actual dragon and still had this for the end ship you can also see the player's head through the mouth which is pretty cool but this is awesome this is really cool but yeah that's it for the um the minifigures netherman which is kind of rare these days they're appearing in more and more sets but you know it's the same build that we've gotten many times before holding a ender block and then of course it comes with a little platform which makes it easier to stand on its own which i like so yeah, great figure. I hope we get more because these are so cool. Like these are awesome. Remind me of Slenderman, they're they're really cool. I guess I could talk a little bit about the Shulker. I already kind of mentioned it in the end ship, but it's just a Shulker. It's not connected, but it's it works well, I think, for what Minecraft wanted to do. You could also turn it into a Shulker box by just getting rid of the head in there because that's just two plates and or one plate and a tile stacked on top of each other so shockingly there are two instructions the first one tells you how to build like the end island and like a couple of other things and it shows the piece count no win just i don't know that was kind of strange it felt very unnecessary i feel like especially because you just probably could have put them in here uh the second instruction shows you the set all built up has an ad for all the sets of this wave. I have done a review of all these so far, except for this one and this one. I have the set, I need to build it, and um, I haven't bought this one yet. I will, because this is probably gonna be one of my favorite sets. Actually, this wave was really good. I think LEGO kind of cooked with this, this wave a little bit. Um, and then of course you have the wind. So yeah, that's it for the instructions. So for the leftover pieces, they're not many, but you do get some prints there for the mobs in the ender eye. You also get another diamond and an emerald. So if you want to fill up that chest with a little more loot, like feel free. But yeah, that's it for the leftover piece. For the box, I actually think this kind of blocky display where it's not like showing the, uh, the details of the blocks kind of works, you know? I think it's better than most of them. And the back of the box, of course, shows some of the features and stuff like that. So yeah, that's it for the box design. So for my final verdict, I am kind of disappointed with the set and mainly with the dragon now i i like the dual molded head and i think it works here perfectly fine here and i like that it can fit on a player's face but on the dragon it looks too small and i wish 
I just wish they would have built up the face here and then included the pre, like the molded head for the ship. Like I think that would have been fine and they didn't have to be the same. Now, if it were up to me, how I would have done this set, I would have gotten rid of this completely. Just taken it out. Like I get the, I get it. But what I would have done is use those pieces to include a brick built head. And then I would have actually added a little more to the wings by adding some more gray along the wings to give it the, the, the webbing, uh, you know, the bone structure that the, that wings have in all winged animals and what the ender dragon has as well. I would also change those out to be black, all the gray colors. And then I think this would have been the perfect dragon, maybe a little bit bigger feet just by a stud longer. I don't think that Lego is missing out on the play feature of the wings flapping because they are brick built. I'd much rather have them brick built in the little, you know, the fireball to get the dragon breath than uh, the wings flapping. But this, oh, I also probably would have extended the tail out by two more little modules and one more neck just to make this feel a lot bigger and more similar to the old one because the old one is great. It was really great. But the new one is arguably better in terms of its building because there's more pieces and more stuff and the wings are brick built. But the head is just, it bothers me so much because it was so close to being so good. Uh, the other thing I would have done because there's still a lot of pieces left even with my transformation is I would have included another shulker because there's a lot of shulkers on the end ship. There's like three, I think, that you have, like typically that spawn on the end ship. You have the one guarding the wings, you have the one on the back, and it, or there's like two on the back or something, maybe one in the front. There's, there's a lot more shulkers on this and they only gave us one. I also forgot to say that the, put the Enderman here. Uh, the Enderman is a nice inclusion, of course. Would have been nice to maybe get one more. I, I just feel like there's some stuff that needs to be in the set. And I think getting rid of this Fixing the dragon up a lot it would have improved the set so much. The ship is great. I don't think Lego could have done anything better with the scale that they have for the ship. Like with the size of it, I think it's good. And I think if they like made it too big, it would have, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know enough about the Lego process because I know that they have to build the thing. And I bet this probably costs a little bit as well as like, you know, the shulker, since it's like a new one, uh, just, you know, would have cost a little bit. The figures are great though. Like I really like the figures a lot, especially the Cyclop Ender Eye one, super cool. Overall, the set is really so close to being good. End ship is great. The dragon just needs a little more. And I probably, I'm thinking about modding this one because this one's so close and just swapping the heads of the old one, but uh, the old one is very nostalgic to me. So yeah, that's really it for this video. For $80, it's still not worth it. I, I can see it at 70 or like 65, but I, I really do see this being worth it at 70. So, you know, $10 expensive in 2024. Yeah, I can kind of see it. Would have been nice. So maybe wait for it to go on sale. The dragon, again, could have been better. I don't want to keep talking about it. It's just, it bothers me because it's so close. They were so close. Um, but yeah, good set. I really do like the end ship. So if you want this because of the end ship, you're going to get a pretty decent end ship. Like you're not going to be disappointed. Plus the dragon is also, I, I, I feel bad because I don't want to like talk bad on it too much because it is good. Like it is a good dragon. It, it just could have been better. And it was, it was just so close to being good. But yeah, overall, it's a decent set. I would give it a set. Definitely kind of lower my expectations at a lot of higher things. The ship is great though, so I'm still pretty pumped about my purchase and stuff. But yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts about the set in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out. Bye.